Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome into Teton County, where we've bought an old farm, and we're about to remake it into the $10 million ultimate farm. Guys, we've taken everything we've made and everything we've learned from Gertie's Carrot Farm, and we're pumping it all into Teton County to make the absolute craziest farm. So, guys, right behind me, you can see we've got the farm we've purchased. We've got a couple buildings. We've got the farm house, and we've got some farmlands that surround the area here. Guys, we're going to take this farm in today's video and build this into the ultimate $10 million Teton County farm. But before we do that, I should tell you where we're doing this multiplayer farm. Well, guys, it's the new year, so it's a perfect time for us to talk about G Portal premium game servers. So why exactly do I use G Portal to host my multiplayer games? Well, guys, that's easy. They get you online immediately. They have the easiest to use server management system. And of course, they have that top notch 24 hour, seven day a week support. G Portal game servers have up to 25 gigabytes of mod space and they are cross play compatible, which allow PC and console players to play together. So pick up your G Portal game server today. Use the link down in the description and get 10% off right now. So guys, the base farm we're starting with here out in Teton. This is the farm we've purchased. It's not bad. I mean, it's got a house. It's got a couple outbuildings. I mean, yeah, definitely serviceable. I mean, you can't go wrong with the Elk Mountain modding house, can you? Uh, I mean, it's a two-story, four-car garage. I mean, look at inside. Look at that. It's so pretty in there. It's a, it's a really nice garage, actually. Open floor plan. I mean, really? This is not too shabby. You could even, I mean, I mean, they're not the baked goods, of course, and I, I can even um, make myself a coffee. It is Folgers, but... Uh, this is not sponsored by Folgers, guys. <laughs> Believe me. Uh, if you got to be a little bit better than that. Anyways, nice house though, right? Nice house. It's a it's a great place to start. Now, our outbuildings, we've got, what, like a little quantit of sorts, I guess? A tin roof quantit, I guess? Uh, cold storage, nothing real special. Storage space. And, of course, uh, the Legacy AG shed. You've got the cold side over here. We could slide these doors open. There was just a... That deer was literally warping through the wall and then on this side over here we've got the uh, the shop the, the the shop the bay there's a pressure washer a, a repair bay it's heated you got lights it's uh yeah not bad but not exactly huge by any stretch of the imagination right and on top of all of that we do have a couple of bins that are out by the football field here uh we don't have an auger yet we'll set that up at some point but uh, we do have bins out here and we do have another shop building a little outbuilding once again, for storage, just uh, out by these bins as well. So we can do like winter storage, I guess. But that's really it, guys. So we want to expand this farm. Uh, there is actually one more building here. Anyways, we do have an old cattle barn here of sorts. Uh, I don't think it's usable. I have no intentions on running any livestock off this farm for the time being. I don't think I want to use this. So I think we'll just leave it here. I can't get rid of this anyways. It's still maybe might be usable at some point, but for now, not so much. All right, so we have to decide what we're going to do with this farm. Now, I've got a lot of farmland. We have some open land over here, which I think we're going to be changing out. As far as the, the actual farmhouse, let's leave it where it's at, guys. This could be our kind of home garage away from everything else. We'll leave this all right in here, I think. Now, we do have quite a bit of space in behind that... I'm trying to figure out what to do with this right now. And uh, there's some options. Maybe we can do some more storage out here. But for now, I think this space will kind of leave open. I think I might actually make this into field space with that cornfield. But I think this little field right here is going to be where our new silo, silo system goes. And guys, we want to make it so we can start doing some dried corn. Because let's be honest, out here in Teton, we're going to be going corn and we're going beans. Let's get started and start building. Uh, well, let's get a silo system down and go from there. Let's clean this field up to start with, guys. Let's go along. Let's get building. All right. Let's see. We got to knock down. Is it? We got a bean field here. I'm debating on what if we just want to flatten this all out. I think that's going to start off with. We're going to see if we can flatten this all out. We'll go to a square and then, yeah, we'll go there. Let's see if we can just kind of square it up, flatten this all out, get rid of this crop, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure it's nice and flat because there's always a surprising amount of of uh, deviation in the ground that you don't see until you try and place buildings down, right? So we'll get this down and we'll see if we can get our, our uh, silo system in here. Okay, so we need to figure out what silo system we're building here. Um, like I said, I've got a few that we can put down that are, well, that we'll do some corn drying, right? Um, that's something we're, we definitely want to consider. This doesn't quite feel right. I mean, we're going to make, like, this is a multi-million dollar operation. And the silo system is really going to be, in a way, what this farm is built around. So, um, 
I'm thinking we have we have a large one here, and there was another large one. I thought we had. Oh, we had like the mega, the mega. Which holy sh Nikes, that thing is massive. I I, I feel like this is. I mean, it, it's pretty nice, but I feel like it's it's just too much. I think I'm kind of torn. I think the AGI guys is really where we're at now. Yeah, this is perfect. The only thing is I've got to pay attention to, of course, we do have a bit of a carport area there. So that means we're not going to be able to use some kind of a, any kind of a tipper style trailer to uh, to dump into this thing. Things to take note of before we buy equipment, of course. 150000 bucks base price, of course, we're going to uh, need to terrain form a little bit as we build this now. I think this direction here will give us the best load. I don't, I don't know. Would you want to go this side or would you go this way here? And you can have... Vehicles come in that way. It's a bit of a bit of a toss up. I'd rather go this way, I think, because you could do maybe maybe you could go this way and build a road around the back to get back out. Ah, uh, you know it's it's gonna. There's not a lot of of easy access in here. To be perfectly honest, we're gonna have to come down that road and somehow get in here and then get this equipment back out. And this could be a, a large tractor trailer, you know, right? So you got to kind of plan this out ahead of time. I, I'm thinking I want to go this way. They'll have to take a 90, come up the driveway, and then turn, and then also. We're thinking, of course, this is kind of far away from the house, which is what we want since it's a corn dryer. Kind of loud, kind of noisy. You don't want it right by your house, right? We'll have the trees as a buffer here. I think I'm going to move this in as far as I can. Just so we can have as much room as we can. Uh, and try and maybe line it up with that little roadway there. $153,000-ish. Should be all right. Okay. I think that's going to work out there. Let me uh, get to work on maybe make it some roadways here quickly. I'm not sure if we need anything else kind of built around this or not, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Like I said, we're going to have to make this in kind of more of a, a rounded road. I think it's got to go something along like this line. I'm going to definitely need to kind of adjust this as we go, but we'll just kind of get an idea of what our plan is going to be. It's probably I might make like a little bit of a triangle here. So we'll have an access off from the house. We'll also have access from the main road, of course. Because that's where all of our, our tractors are going to be coming in, basically, to unload. Uh, we'll make that look prettier later on. And then we have to do the same thing on the back side here. And we'll make this into, I think this is going to be a major roadway. We're going to continue this road all the way back here. All right, there is a silo. It looks actually really good. we got a little, like, a uh, bypass with a little parking area off to the side, I suppose. I don't know. We'll see yet. Having we got to fit this all out with decorations still. But this back corner right here, I think, is going to be... Is this going to be the farmyard, I think? I feel like this whole area is just calling for, like, the farm. It, it, it's a bit of a trek. You can see over to the main house from there. But I think we're going to build our main farmyard in this little plot of land up here. I kind of want to build it up a little bit, to be perfectly honest. I kind of want it to be a little bit higher. So I'm going to build up maybe, like, a little bit of a plateau. And, uh, yeah, maybe we'll put up the house a little, or not the house, the shop, the shed, the main office and shed so it's a little bit elevated we don't need a lot here i'm thinking two buildings one large one we need to have enough room for our combines and then room for our equipment of course the rest of our our smaller implements now guys i've got to be a little bit careful because we don't have a lot of well like let me just show you what i'm talking about if we go down to our painting here this map doesn't have a lot of options for different painting textures so there's no cliff sides or anything so i'm going to have to figure out a way to make cliff sides look good if i elevate ground but uh, we're still going to do it. We're still going to find a way to make this work. So uh, let's just start off. Let me think here. If we build, I kind of want to, let's see here. We, we, we want our main office so it can kind of oversee this side. I think over on this side here, it can kind of look over towards the silo system. The rest of our farmyard is as much as we can see it from back here. That's kind of what I'm thinking. There's not an access. No, no, no. Okay. I thought there might be a pathway there, but I think that's where we're going to put this. So I'm going to start raising some ground up here. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's, let's make it a little bit bigger, a little stronger. Okay, I don't want it any of that's That's high enough. That's definitely high enough. Uh, let's see if we can flatten this out now. And um, yeah, that's about as high as I need it to go. Let me make a little bit of a plateau here. All right, so I think we've got a big enough plateau here. But guys, um, I kind of want to go a little bit overboard on my, my main office shop building. Uh, what did we find? We found the Monette Workshop. And I'm like, yeah, 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 this is like, look at this place. Like, she's, she's huge. She is massive. Uh, I can go inside and take a quick little look. Lots of place for, look at all the room for activities. Got like an office upstairs, of course. Uh, I think this is the shop. This is going to be our main office for this farm, you guys. Now, the thing is, okay, we got, we got to take a look at the doors. We got front doors. We've got side doors, of course. And there's also one bay door off the back. So... Yeah, you've got to try to make sure this is all going to work together. 
So if I kind of place this up here, but I have to make sure there's enough room off the back, right? So you can get a roadway around the back here. That's what I'm thinking at least. So there should be enough room, I think, like right there. I can extend, it looks like, a little bit out further. And we can get a road around the back of this. I don't know how often we're going to use this bay door, of course. But it's there. Slap that down. How does that look? Okay. So everything's balanced there. Of course, we've lots of work still to do with the terraforming. But it, it, it'll work. That's, um, yeah, you know what? That's, that's tolerable. I got to fix all this. But, okay. Now, the big thing, of course, we have to have a lot of space right out front, guys. We need a bunch of space because we're moving big equipment. It's going to be parked, moving in and out of this area. I need to have space in this region. Otherwise, it's just going to be a nightmare. So I don't want to put another big shop here. I don't really need a huge shop, do I? I need maybe something small. Nothing crazy, just for some implements. I think all of our equipment should, for the most part, fit in this building. And if not, we still have some of the shop buildings back over at the main farm or at the farmhouse. And then don't forget, way out there, the winter storage is down there as well. So I don't need a ton of storage, do I? So we need to find, like I said, I want a secondary shop, kind of an outbuilding up here. Just more storage for odds and ends, bips and bobs. You guys get it. Uh, I, You know what? I thought about putting like another Quonset. It doesn't really kind of feel right. I mean, I feel like we should at least try to match it. Um, There's this shed pack here. It's I don't like the fact that it's like a, a drive through bay. I kind of want to stick this like right in the back corner here and just have it back there kind of out of the way. I've been looking through my shed, the sheds we got access to here, and there's a couple that might work. Um, there was the one I really I had something that was just going to work out, I think, perfectly. Uh, this might be it right here. Are these them? This this might this might work. You've got bay doors on both sides. Um, it still doesn't feel right. Let me take a quick look through the rest of these. Okay, actually, this might be work a little bit. This might work a little bit better. And the one only problem is I kind of wish that it was accessible on this side or the windows were out this way. I wish I could change that, but this is the way we're going to probably put it. And it's just going to be in this very back corner here. Maybe I could put it this this way. Can we fit that in? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this might just work out swimmingly. It's going to be a bit of a cluster in the back here. Let's see. If it's it's going to make a bit of a mess. We'll see if we can fix that later. And then, of course, we've got to get our right colors set up. So we're, what, red? And then we still have lots of room over here. As long as we're not too much into the trees, I can fix it, right? Yeah, guys, this is going to be great. This is perfect. We'll slap this. Uh, am I squared up? Looks like we're fairly squared up. You know, got to measure measure twice, cut once, right? Something Something like that. And slap her down. Boom. Okay. All right. So that's going to be perfect. Now I've got a large amount of space here to move everything around. I think we're good for up here. I, I've got a ton of terraforming to do still. Holy. All right. So I'm really trying to figure out what the heck I'm going to do with this big plateau I've got built up. Might have been a bit of a mistake, but hey, we'll figure it out as we go here, you guys. Uh, I'm trying to just soften edges, get rid of all those janky janks that this game tends to make everywhere, of course. Make our farm look all pretty. This here area, I want to try to make this into a cliffside. Like right in front, which is really a bad idea if you think about it. But hey, that's what we're going with right now. Uh, maybe not a cliff, uh, um, just maybe a steep hill. And then try to, I'm, I'm going to have to layer something here. Uh, let's see if we can make this happen. We can go like right up here to here and just make it so it's kind of a nice hillside. Let's go out even a little bit further than that. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. That looks a little, it's a little bit better. It can kind of come down nice and softly at least. And, uh, yeah, yeah, see, that's, that's okay. Then, uh, that, that rides off fairly well. He does soften or smooth this out again. Get that all lifted up and then smooth this down. So, um, I'm, I'm really gonna have to do a lot of work in the woods, guys. It's gonna be a bit of a mess down there. I just, I'm kind of dreading it right now, to be honest. But we'll, we'll find a way to get in there in a sec. Just trying to give us a base idea of how this is gonna work. We got lots of space, I think, to get around here. I don't like how close this still is. I mean, let's be honest. We're not bringing big equipment down there, but still. I got to be pay, pay attention to that, I guess. Mindful of that. And then we've got our main roadway. It's going to just kind of come up here. I don't know how. If Maybe I can... I want to meander this. Like, maybe come up this way and go up and around. That might be a kind of a nice look to it. And then we'll see. I'll see if I can slide this out a little bit. I got some ideas here. Like, let's see. If we went out, how can I do this? We want to make, like, maybe if I, if I flatten this out right here... Like, kind of like this, right? And then take this right from here, go there, and flatten down. 
like that. If that kind of makes sense. And then do the same thing right to here and, and bring this up like this. So it's kind of like a, a bit of a roadway that kind of goes up. Does that kind of make sense? You can kind of see like a little bit of a road that kind of meanders up there a little bit. I got to really make it bigger, of course, but you kind of see what I'm going with right now, right? All right, so roads coming together, a little, bit, a little more work done, trying to find a way to make this work the way I want you guys. Eh, you know what? It'll come together. So we'll put some rocks down. Let's see. I need to make sure I leave a lot of space here because like I said, big equipment's going to be going up and down this hill. I just need to kind of like make it so that there's still enough space for for that equipment to go like up this and up that way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the question is, how can I do that? I don't know if I like that rock the way I put it. Not sure if I like that. Kind of slap this down in here and do the same thing right there. See if I can get some more rock work in here. And then we'll do some more terraforming afterwards to try to, to build this all up, of course. You can see it kind of, well, coming together. There we go. I'm trying not to make it look so there's anything that's kind of covering the same spot. You don't see anything that looks uniform, I guess, is what the, the word is I'm going for. Eh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, I don't have enough of those. What else do we have for, for these types of rocks? I got bigger ones that are kind of slap in there. I could use these too, right? And they, let's see, what else do we have? got to be something else oh no, no no go back go back go back all right there we go that can kind of work that right there yeah yeah that's all right that's all right sorry, sorry. see if i can try and make this look a little bit better right in here yeah not a lot i don't really like these guys i'm not I mean, there's other ones out there the other packs that have some different stones might work a bit better than what i'm using right right now i'm not a fan of like these like i can't do that because obviously it's the same if you twist it around you can usually get away with it but I'm not oof, that's that's big that's a that's a big that's a big boy uh yeah no see not liking that at all uh, i think we're gonna have to go back and just kind of finish this off with these guys down here just kind of put a couple underneath spin it around so you can't tell uh all right perfect all right cool 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 cool, cool. you can see how easy it is just to kind of make it look a little bit a little different right it cost me money but hey whatever um okay Need to make this look a little bit better. That's all. Let me see if I can flatten terrain out. I'm looking, looking all right. Looking, uh, looking okay-ish. That roadway, you can see. I'm going to put some rocks down this side, of course, as well. Uh, make these cliffs look a little bit better. And, of course, we got to paint. But, hey, you know what? This is, uh, you know what? Coming together slowly. Like that. That looks like a nice uh, little entryway, I think. All right. So, we're looking decent, guys. Got uh, some rock work done. We've done some a little bit of decor. I wasn't planning on doing decor. I don't usually do, do, do decor right away, but guys, I had to. I mean, it was looking pretty good up here. Even in the back of the shop here, you can see we've got some more rock work because it is uh, a little bit of a plateau we've built here. We've got the outbuilding and then, of course, the main shop building with multiple entrances like we talked about earlier on. And I couldn't really figure out what to do here if we needed extra space. So I put in a little, another little shop, an outbuilding of sorts, a, a carport, I guess. Uh, yeah, it looks good up here. I think we have still lots of space and we have more room for just odds and ends. All right, so one problem I'm running into with this whole setup up here, to be honest, like I know I've got, I said I have a lot of space. I don't have enough though, I don't think. Like I wanted enough room where I could pull a tractor trailer around the back of the shop. Like I wanted to be able to do like a whole loop basically. So if I brought like a Super B up here, guys, uh, I don't think I'm gonna have enough room to turn it around. There's enough, there's a lot of room. I don't think there's that much room, is there? We'll have to wait and see because I'm kind of limited right now with what I've got, as you can see back here. Okay, so a couple other things I want to do now. We've got some space down here by the bins or by the uh, the silo system. I would like to, well, make this look better, but I also want to put storage for, like I said, our tractor trailer units maybe down here. So we could have a little bit more parking spaces. Also, I need bale storage. All right, so I need to figure out something and I want to kind of put it down here along the silo. I'm thinking just like a drive through Something inexpensive, something simple for our truck. Ooh, what about these hoop barns? They're the same thing, right? They're yeah, 40 by 70. I can fit most tractor trailers in that, right? That's like just a simple storage place. Inexpensive in the grand scheme of things, right? I think, and we can make that look okay, I think. We'll just leave it down here. Uh, I'll try and line this up so it's like with the bin at least. Kind of like that. Put it right there for now. And how does it, is it, it's level-ish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like we could use that for storage. We'll we'll put some roadways through it. Okay, okay, that's okay, okay. And then down here as well, we've got 
Oh, that's a that's a lot of bale storage. That's a lot of bale storage here. Can I like how tall is that? Is that that's pretty tall? Is this one a bit smaller? It's I don't know. I mean, I I, I want to right, guys. I really want to, but it's it's just too big, right? Like look at that. That's just too big. It's way too big. We can do, can I like do two of these side by side maybe or something like that? Can I, can I fit like that? Yeah, yeah. See, we can put these like in beside here. And then I don't know if I want to do that though because they're those peg those that's ah, gonna be I think one should be enough for not that much bail storage though is it ah I gotta think about this okay I actually think uh, I'm gonna change this up actually now guys after looking through all my sheds we have on here all the sheds we have access to the base hay shed uh or the easy shed is I think actually the best one for us it's like a little bit bigger and yeah I feel like this is a little bit more of what we're looking for um for this placement so i'm gonna slap this bad boy down in here all right that looks good uh let's make some roadways going in and out of this little lean to uh or not lean to this uh i don't even know what you want to call it the the tarp shed i don't even know it's gonna be I, I, I don't know it'll be an odds and ends storage of sorts kind of like last minute kind of thing we just kind of figured out almost i don't know we'll see how if we can make this look i don't know if i want that to, yeah, we'll go with that texture sure get that kind of cleaned up and then It'll uh, probably change. Let's see what do we got here. Maybe to this. There we go. And also, we did actually update the texture pack on this. Uh, thanks, Stegyman. Stegyman for uh, doing that because uh, there was not nearly enough uh, colors in in this to uh, to actually properly build a farm. And man, the ba they, the base is still so weak sometimes. If you do the North American North American pack, um, there's just not enough not enough uh, different texture packs or colorings. To, to properly make a nice farm, I find. It's kind of ridiculous. There we go. Kind of straighten this up a little bit. And we still got to make this look... Like, this has got to be pretty rough. Because this is not going to have a lot of use coming in out of this. I'm just kind of giving it the idea. You guys know how it is. Make a... Kind of give us the idea of what we're looking for. And then we'll go from there. And it's going to have to go off this direction up here. Like that, right? Yeah, that's going to be fine like that. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to clean this all up still. Uh, it looks like I need to uh, do some terraforming here. Fix, oh yeah, a lot of, lot of terraforming right there. And we'll move on from there, do some uh, decorations pretty much next. I've actually changed my mind a little bit. I was planning on doing some decor up at the front, right in this neck of the woods here. But maybe we make this into like the original farm area, right? We got the original home up here. It kind of matches the old cattle barn back there. And yeah, this is kind of, uh, it's Gertie's place. Yeah, that's what that is. It's uh, just a house and the silo system kind of got built behind it. And it's just the original farmhouse that's on the land. So we're pretty spread out. We've got, you can see the farm right up there, the main farmhouse. We've got the old farm down below here. And then as we kind of scroll in behind, you can see we've got, well, the main farm office and uh, storage buildings up top. I think it's time we start doing some decorating. <laughs>
All right, guys, I think we're pretty much good to go. I've got all our equipment picked up. Um, we'll give you a quick tour. Let's quickly go over everything before I show you the finished product here. We've got a plow. We've got the Demco auger, uh, auger wagon there, the wagon. We've got a Mack truck that's going to be used for, like, seed, maybe some lime, that kind of stuff. We've got two John Deere C16F headers, our corn headers. Over here in the far storage building, I've got, what is that, a uh, DB120, I believe? It, no, maybe only the 90. I think it's the 90. And then, of course, John Deere sprayer, an extra tank to go along with. It's a hardy tank. We've got a couple of flat deck trailers. One has some extra sprayer tanks on it. That tank is... I mean, it doesn't look pretty. It does the job, though, doesn't it? And then, finally, moving into the main shop. I mean, we've got our two John Deere... Uh, what is it? The S790s? 790s? It's bare bones. We've got dual, dual tires. No extra tanks or anything on top. Fairly straightforward there. Might as well talk about quickly the headers. It is the yeah, 745 FDs with the air systems on both of those header trailers included. We do have a baler. Oh, what model is that? The 690. The 690 square baler. John Deere. It's a little bit older, but still decent. And behind that, I've got a New Holland telehandler. We got a Mac Superliner, and then uh, of course the Case 4540. Don't ask me why this is the only piece of case equipment, but it is. All right, just live with it it's what it is it's the only one the only thing we have that's red on this farm uh that's not completely true i guess is it <laughs> yeah talk more, more about that in a second uh we got an 84 r john deere right there with a three-point front hitch on that just singles front and back beside that we've got this uh the 570 the 9rt this is going to be well, probably our, our main planting tractor. We'll see. We'll see what we use this for. I do like using this for anything that's a little bit tighter, of course, because it does turn a little bit quicker. Our more utility tractor, the 6195M, and then the other red tractor, the Versatile 520. You know what? It's, it was cheaper than going with a 9R, so that's... I don't know why we went with the Versatile. We decided to go with Versatile instead of John Deere for this. Live with it. And then don't forget about the, the Kubota in back behind here. We got some more Kubota stuff over the main farm. I'll show you that in a second, though. We got a couple more semi-trucks. We got an old Mac and a uh, Western Star hooked up to various trailers. We've got a seed trailer, seed tender as well. Down in the... Um, the awning I don't even, what was i gonna call this i had a name for this i can't remember what it was but anyways it's down here and currently sitting in the bale storage the bale barn is uh we've got a borgo setup as well the big it's not the biggest of the borgo setups i believe there's one that was 7150 i believe 7950 sorry uh yeah it's still a decent size i can't remember what the overall what this is but anyways we have the borgo setup as well as a Borgo cultivator as well. So Borgo, Borgo down here. We might put this up top later on, but it fits nicely down here. I'm going to need to find a different storage spot for this later on. Now, back at the main farm, we've got, well, the, the orange charger you guys saw, or challenger, sorry, you saw earlier. Of course, we got our Dodge Ram pickup truck. You got the uh, the one ton with the K-Sims logo on the side. Uh, nice. And down in some of the uh, outbuildings here, we've got an old Ford flat deck. It's the okay used mods. Oh, the old Ford, the old flat deck. What is it? The Super Duty 850? Sure. Anyways, um, nothing in that bay. That's our repair bay down over there. Next door is the toy bay. It's all our toys in here for the most part. We got some side by sides. I uh, got a quad. We got a, a Skidoo and a couple bikes. Also, you'll find an old John Deere Model B, I believe it is, from okay used mods down here as well. We might end up using that. It might be just decorations. We might use it to run an auger, to be honest. And then lastly, I've got just. Well, a flat deck in here. We may put some other flat deck trailers down here as well for storage come winter time. But that there is, for the most part, it. We do have some augers over at the far side as well. You can just kind of see them over by the bins down there. That's where our augers are. So, overall, this is what our farm currently looks like. You can see we've done a lot of decorating, making this look all schnazzy. The farmhouse is looking swanky. And the main shop area is looking pretty good as well. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Considering what we had here, this is uh, kind of... Well, it's, it's quite a bit. Now, really leaned into the fact that we had this old area down here, guys. You got the original barn, the original cattle pen, of course. Down in the back side, we've kind of leaned into this a little heavier, as you can see. And uh, it's kind of derelict. There's nothing there. We're not really using it. We do have an old fuel, or we have a fuel fill-up spot right here, but that's pretty much it. But the old farmhouse, of course, is still there. It can still be used. Um, I'm not going into that place, but hey, you know what? It's there. It's uh, there if you want it, I guess. If we're uh, at the guest house, Gertie's guest house, maybe we'll go with that. But then, of course, you've got the new house just off the road, and then down the back side of behind the silo is the shop. So everything looks really good up here. I'm really happy with the way this has turned out, guys. But let me bring up where our finances are. 700000 bucks left after $10 million. So yeah, it's not quite a $10 million build, but pretty darn close. Yep. Corny, corny beans, corny, corny beans farms is almost cost us 10 million bucks to put together. That's, that's a lot of, that's a lot of cash. So guys, that's going to be it for our $10 million Teton County farm. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Of course, go check out G portal game servers as well. 
you want that 10% off, go click the link down in the description. Guys, come check us out as well during one of our live streams where we'll be running this farm and seeing uh, where we can go with it. Got some ideas. I've got some things I want to try out. Anyways, thanks for watching today. If you haven't done so already, make sure you go subscribe down at the bottom. Ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future content and drop a like on the way out. We'll see you guys in the next one. This is Clutch. Over and out.